How's it going guys? I'm Robert from Machado Visuals and Happy New Year. Today we're finally going over some colorimetry featuring the Sekonix C800 spectrometer. This is BTS from the fashion editorial video I actually did last summer featuring Savannah Jokul. I'll leave a link in the description if you haven't seen it already. LED technology is rapidly taking over the lighting market and with that comes the advent of RGB fixtures which can come in any multitude of ways. RGB, RGBW, RGBWW, RGBA, so on and so forth. Thus, RGB is not created equal. This basically means that any color from an RGB light will almost always look different from another manufacturer's light because they have different spectral properties, even though they're RGB. This even includes standard white balances like 3200 Kelvin or 5600 Kelvin. On the shoot, we wanted to really export color with our looks and used a bunch of various RGB LEDs, including sky panels, quasar rainbows, and digital Sputnik DS1s. Since we had three fixtures from three different manufacturers, it was really important that they were metered along a common baseline. This is why the C800 presents a tremendous amount of value in lighting so that you can precisely quantify color, especially when using different fixtures. A lot of RGB fixtures offer an HSI adjustment, which is good for quickly selecting a color in a pinch, but I much prefer using the XY adjustment since it's a much more precise measurement. You've probably seen this graph before. This is a chromaticity diagram. It's basically a 2D graph visualizing every perceivable hue the human eye can observe. These are where our XY coordinates come from. The border represents pure spectral colors, i.e. the colors of the rainbow. The way an RGB color is produced is by mixing two pure spectral colors together. As you can see, there are millions of combinations of how these colors can be produced, which causes the variance from fixture to fixture. I haven't seen too many fixtures offer the XY feature, but it is included in sky panels, which are my primary RGB lights. I'll take a reading of the source I want to match and hit the delta button. Now, whenever I take a reading, it will tell me how far off my measurement is. You can then fine tune your XY adjustment until both X and Y measurements have a delta reading of zero. You can even use XY coordinates to match to pretty much any other light source in the real world. In this application, I used XY to match to the sodium vapor lights to mimic a soft street light look. Sky panels are especially fun because you can program different effects like flickering or just go straight euphoria. If your fixture doesn't include XY adjustments, you can use HSI instead and the same method applies. It wouldn't be as accurate, but you'll be in the same ballpark when matching colors. Here's an example of two different RGB fixtures matched to the same HSI setting, but you can see that the XY values aren't quite matching up. Using the color meter is especially helpful in interviews so that you can perfectly match any ambient light source for supernatural looking interviews. I'll go over this in a future video, but of course this all depends on whether or not your camera sensor can even interpret these colors in the same manner, but using a meter does get you one step closer in achieving more precise color. As lighting technology evolves, so must our methodology of crafting a frame and painting with light. Big shout out to our makeup artist Jenny for creating all these killer looks on Savannah. They're both absolute wizards. As always, if you have any questions on this video, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.